The Super Nintendo needs no introduction for me. Its fame is already well documented. With its rich, deep library of awesome video games, this gray blocky machine created a lot of memories and is still to this day the best console you can pay money for. It personifies greatness. And when you think of the more memorable platform games from it, a lot of titles come to mind. There's Mega Man X, Super Mario World, Castlevania, Moai Mallard, Earthworm Jim, Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City. Oh wait, what's this doing here? Get that out of here! Yuck! And somewhere buried beneath all of those fantastic memorable titles comes something like Skyblazer. Now, you might ask... Skyblazer? What in the devil? Skyblazer? I do like the box art. It's kind of kick-ass and in-your-face. Although I wish they would have went with the Japanese one instead. It's got this anime folklore going for it, and that looks pretty awesome. The guy on the front of this box? He looks like Booster Gold after stealing Rygar's weapon. The character's name is Sky, Garuda in Japan. And with this karate gi and spiky hair, he looks a little bit familiar. He puts me in the mind of... Go... Goemon. Goemon. He, he looks like Goemon to me. This is a very cool game to look at. It hits you right in the palette. The blend and clashing and contrasting of colors, it's so pretty on the eyes. The animation's really neat. The effects are neat. Each stage has its own unique feel. As I'd said before, it stems from Japanese folklore. The monsters look unique and creepy. They look like something out of a storybook or a manga. What in the blazes am I looking at? Is that a trunk elephant monster with a face for a stomach? I don't know what a face is. That wall a boss? It's a wall boss. It's a, it's a wall. It's, it's, it's a wall master. It's a, it's a wall master with with a face. It's I don't know. It's freaky and it's cool. The gameplay is pretty straightforward, you know, reach the end of the level, but no two platforms play alike. There's different challenges that present themselves, and even some things that are kind of small and minor, that I noticed that caught my eye immediately, and I thought it was pretty neat. Take these trees, for instance. You'd think that you'd be able to just kind of walk across the branches, but you actually sink through the leaves. And that's kind of cool, it hinders your movement just a tad, but it makes you that much more aware of your surroundings, and that's... Wah! Fantastic! Enemies and items are also found in this brush, but they're camouflaged just enough so that it makes it that much harder to be able to tell the difference. And it's beautiful! What am I looking at? Is that something that can help me or hurt me? It makes you aware of your surroundings, and that's... Yes! Storm Fortress of Kalar is at the same time one of the most creative and frustrating levels I've ever played in any platform game ever. You're guided entirely by wind currents, and timing your jumps and being guided by the wind is very crucial, and the margin for error is very, very slim. I like this so much because... I've never played anything quite like this. There's seldom any platforms for you to rest upon, so if you mistime your jumps, you've got to go all the way back to the beginning. Son of a bitch. It's all about hitting your mark. Come on, get up there. Ah, damn it. Get up. Damn. All right. Up. Okay. Out of the way. Not going to bother with you. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. shoot. Oh crap, how did I survive that? I am too old for this. Now for as rewarding as I said the gameplay is, and it's pretty stimulating, it does come with a couple of grievances. For instance, wall clinging can be a little bit incidental at times. There are moments where you don't intend to do it and you get stuck on a wall. This can be hazardous and can often lead to deaths. Also, Sky's attack range is not particularly far, so you have to be right next to an enemy in order to pummel them. This also runs you the risk of getting hit. And this one's probably a tad bit nitpicky, but I would be remiss if I didn't poke fun at a little bit of the animations on some of the bosses. Most of them generally have about three or four frames at best, and they just repeat over and over. Like, this dragon just floats up and down, and its mouth moves. That's literally it. It looks like Microsoft clip art. I have to go now. My planet needs me. The boss battles are pretty cool looking, they provide unique puzzles, and each battle is different. They have a tendency to be a little bit one note, once you figure out the pattern, all you have to do is repeat it over and over, and they go down. 
It's too bad Sky Blazer wasn't more popular at its time. I think audiences would have gotten a real kick out of this and probably would have turned some heads to a really addictive action platformer. And it's even more too bad that a game like this isn't available on digital at some point. Maybe there's a grassroot program that can get going. Like, maybe we can get celebrities. Like John Diggle. Hey, John, doing anything? I'm not hoping to promote this. You don't even watch my show anymore. Sky Blazer is made of awesome. It's worth every penny I paid for it. The price of it online has kind of skyrocketed a little bit, uh, but it's one of those rare hidden gems, and if you're a collector, it's totally worth owning. It's challenging in all the right areas. It's not overly long, so it doesn't go on forever, and the replay value is high. You'll find yourself challenging ways to defeat the bosses or to do a complete speed run of it. But for everything that it's worth, I think this is one of the best Super Nintendo games available. And I'm gonna give it a uh, 9 out of 10. I think that feels about right. Well, that's it for this episode of Colonel Fancy Reviews. See you later. No catchphrase. Still. Remember, when you're finished watching the latest episode of Arrow, which can be seen Wednesdays on the CW, be sure to sign the online petition to have Skyblazer for digital download. There, I did your plug. Are you gonna go back to giving the show another chance? Uh, let me think about it for a second. No! You're running out of patience with me. I swear to you.